Hello there. You might have seen me and other people engrave test patterns onto different materials to figure out the right speed and power. So today we'll be looking at how to make the test pattern files on Lightburn. So let's get started. We open up a new document and use the rectangle tool to draw a square. Then we set the width and height of the object as 7mm. You can use any size, but 7mm reduces material usage and is big enough to show you the details. Then we go ahead and click on the make an array of selected objects tool and set the number of rows and columns we want. You can use as many as you need. Once that's set, we select the padding between edges option for X and Y and then set the distance between objects. In this case, a 7mm spacing will look good. Once that's done, go ahead and click OK. Now that we have the grid, we'll type in the labels. Use the text tool to add the label and resize it to the size you want. Now we duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D so that all the text has the same size. Do this for the labels along the rows and columns. With that done, we can go ahead and assign different layers for the rows to set different speeds for them. We select all the objects in a row and click on the layer we want to assign. So for 1000 it's layer 1, for 2000 it's layer 2 and so on. Once that's done, we go ahead and set the layer properties. Make sure all of them are in fill mode if you want to test engraving power or set it to line mode for testing cutting power. We'll set the speeds for the different layers and keep the power at 100% for all of them. Once that's done, we'll rename the layers. With that done, we'll set the different power levels for the columns. Select the boxes you want to set the power for and then on the right side of the screen, click on shape properties. If the option is missing for you, click on the window option in the menu and make sure the shape properties option is ticked. Once you have that, go into the shape properties and type in the power levels you want for the objects you selected. In this case, it's 60%. If you had set the power of the layer at 50%, the final output would be 60% of 50, which is 30. That's why we set the power of the layer as 100%. Now do this for all the other columns and you're done. We can go ahead and put in the labels for the speed and power and that's it. You can right click and click on preview or press Alt plus V for the preview. You'll see that the boxes have varying levels of shading in the X direction, but they are all the same in the Y direction. This is because Lightburn cannot simulate the output based on speed. But when you engrave this, you will be able to see the difference. So that's it. Let's go ahead and engrave it onto a piece of ply. This is what we got after running the test pattern file. As you can see, it burned right through at really low speeds and even at high speed, the engraving is a bit too deep. But as I ran this for just showing you guys how the test pattern file would look, it's okay. So that's it about creating test file patterns on Lightburn. If you guys wish to see more content like this, hit that like button and I'll be bringing out more tips and tricks on lasers and more tutorials on Lightburn. So hit that subscribe button to not miss out on that. Thank you for watching. Until next time.